21 and I'm from Brisbane and I'm a portrait painter and I've mainly been doing mural commission work. My aspirations would be to work as a full-time uh, artist and I would really like to enter the Archibald Prize. I've always wanted to do something creative. I just hadn't figured out what it was. I was always drawing and painting. What inspires you to create art? Things in everyday life and people. Um, when you see something interesting, interesting light, interesting colours. People watching, I think, because I'm a portrait painter, I find people watching really interesting. You can learn a lot about people by observing their behaviour. And then you think about how you could capture that in a still, in a painting. Who influenced you to start creating? Probably family and um, my grandparents. My granddad, um, I told him I, he had an interest in art and I told him I wanted to paint and draw and he had me drawing circles over and over and over as a child. Um, he said if you could, everything can be broken down into shapes and if you can draw all the shapes perfectly then you can draw anything. And he said the circle was the hardest shape to draw so he had me drawing a lot of circles. I like it when it's bold, I don't like it when it's finicky or um, I think if you're going to paint realism why not just take a photo. Um, whereas if you apply the paint um, you can get interesting textures with a spatula or uh, with other mediums, so I think that's far more interesting. What feeling do you get when you're painting? Um, it depends what I'm painting. If I'm passionate about it, I usually zone in on it and everything else becomes insignificant. At the minute I'm working up the top of about a six metre ladder and I'm afraid of heights, but after I'm up there for about two minutes I forget I'm even up the top of the ladder. <laughs> I want to capture something from life that a photograph can't. I want to try and tell a story. Um, I want to get someone's personality in a single shot. And that can be quite challenging because if they're sitting in front of you, you have very limited time to work to capture that person. And if you take a photograph, you want, you're trying to bring out something that that photograph doesn't have. So you're working from your memory to try and put that in the painting. I think because I tried to strive so hard to make everything so perfect and look so real. It enabled me to uh, abstract it a bit more later on because I was always told that if you, you can't abstract something if you don't first know how to do it correctly. Um, but I think I strived for something too perfect for too long and it lacked an interesting aspect. But when I broke out of that, I got something uh, far more quality and something that made me different from other people. What would I say to other artists? I'd probably not listen to what everyone tells you because everyone will tell you it's too hard, but if you're making work, something has to happen with it. <laughs> <laughs>